Being a filmmaker, you are essentially a storyteller. Mm -hmm. um, and I imagine that um, being a 21st century filmmaker, you have tools available to you that were not available to people mm -hmm. 20, 30 years ago. Right. Um, what kind of tools do you use? And uh, how do you go about choosing the ones you do? It's very difficult. The speed of technology is at a mind-boggling pace. So, for example, the lenses, the cameras, the bandwidth, the memory that we are presented with, it's changing every three months. So when you think you're going to shoot on a particular medium, um, and you're in pre-production, let's say six months before you're going to shoot, well, you better be, be, be able to like shift and jive and move three months before, because things are moving so rapidly. Now, what does that advancement bring? Sometimes it's valuable, sometimes it's not. So, for example, I love to shoot on film. Totally 20th century, right? Totally old school. Why do I like to shoot on film? Because when we go and use our digital tools in After Effects, or when we're doing color correction, the color correction, the latitude that you have with film is extraordinary. You can shoot into the sunlight and fix it. Um, with a digital camera, no way, right? There are some real technological impediments to the digital formats that you don't have with film. Um, on the other hand, film is expensive. Uh, you put it by a heater, it's gone, right? You open the camera door a little bit, it's gone, right? So there are downsides with what I would call old school technology. On the flip side, the editorial process is lightning fast. I don't even have to be in the same room anymore with my editor. I do not have to be in the same room with my composer, right? They can post for me, we can eye chat, we can um, do everything electronically, which is a huge time saver. And it also means that I can be working remotely with people all over the country. And what does that do that, you know, sort of enlarges your talent pool? So I think the digital tools are really wonderful but they don't solve the problem of what you see in the marketplace now. Go on YouTube, for example. It is so hard to find really good, high-quality content on YouTube because now everybody's a filmmaker, right? Because the price points of digital cameras and iMovie, now it's wonderful because people now have self-expression, right? Um, but then you've got to kind of, how do you come up, rise up, so that you're getting attention, right? Um, you had that in the 20th century, you have it even more now in the 21st century because there are so many entertainment, you know, modules competing for space and mindshare, right? M movie plexes are just hemorrhaging because everybody used to go to the movies. What did you, what'd you do on a date? You went to the movies. What did you do with your parents on the weekend? You went to the movies. What do you, oh, I'm on my iPod. I, I'm on my iPad. Okay, I'm doing with iTunes. I'm playing Nintendo. Oh, I gotta do Guitar Hero. So all of sort of the digital opportunities, at least from a film standpoint, have really cut into our market, right? So that's the downside. But I'll tell you that the ease and speed with which we can accomplish a project is just so much greater with the digital technology.